G'day everyone, time to put the scientist hat back on as today we test a new product that I'm using for the first time and whenever I'm going to fork out some coin on something I like to make sure it's going to actually do what's on the label and see if there are any cheeky ways of spending less money and doing the same thing. The product in question today is sanding sealer. The one I'm actually going to use because it's easily available from the big box store is the Feast Watson variety. What you're supposed to do is next week's project before you stain something, apply some sanding sealer, which I've actually already got all over this design here, to help give you a better, more even coverage of your stain product so that it doesn't come out all blotchy. So I've designed a little experiment here to test how it works and if it's going to be worth your money. Let's see what we've got. I've just been sanding these four pieces of wood all the way through the grits to 240. I've got the face grain and I've got the end grain and I want to see how this product performs in various circumstances. This here, it's a bit of good old-fashioned plywood. We will give it a crack as being quite a porous wood so you'd be expecting the sanding sealer to make a big difference. Similar, next step up is a standard piece of clear pine. I'm going to leave this bit raw. I'm going to use a sanding sealer on one section and my cheat version is PVA glue. I have seen a few people using the straight PVA as a sanding sealer type product. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison because obviously this costs a hell of a lot less than this does. This stuff is not cheap. I want to make sure it's worth the coin. So they are the tests we're going to do today. PVA versus raw versus sealed on the face and then just on the end, raw versus sealed. I'm going to step it up a little bit too. That project is a prefab acacia hardwood Australian board from Bunnings. Same tests on that. And then to go even harder, this is a piece of Tassie oak or Vic ash as it is also known. And that's the densest thing that I had in my shop and we'll do the exact same tests on there. My hypothesis is that on these porous softwoods, the sandy seal is probably going to make a big difference. On the harder woods, especially on the oak, this is so dense already, don't know if it's going to improve it too much, but it will be interesting to see. Okay, let's butter these up, see what the results are. Alright, that's all dry, quickly cut back with some 240 grit. So the stain I'm using is also the Feast Watson, we'll keep it in the family. It is the Black Japan Metho Base Proof Tint. I'm going to put it on for a minute or two, wipe it off, and see what results we get. I really actually like this stain and just how nicely it goes on with just a rag. Lovely. Very, very easy to use. I know we're meant to review in the same sealer, not the stain, but this is good stuff. You can see all that really open grain there. We'll see how that goes. Okay, just leave that for about two or three minutes. The method will probably nearly dry entirely, actually, I found with this, so when you go to wipe it off, there won't be a lot left. Right, that's about three minutes. We're going to a clean ish rag and just remove all that excess stain. All right, now let's give those a little while to dry properly and we'll come back and take a peek. I've got my four tests here which had just the alcohol-based stain put on over the sealer, over PVA and over the raw wood on four different woods. And then just for something different, I also had the stain and varnish in the same brand, Feast Watson. And so I decided to do a very, very rough test on unsealed versus sealed wood for the stain and varnish. Let's actually start with that one because in some ways it is more interesting. So obviously on this side, we've got the stained over the sealer and this was just left raw. This is clear pine and you can see some difference. You can see some slight blotchiness in the unsealed side compared to the sealed side, which was a little bit smoother. But here's the real kicker. Look at that. That's the end grain of the pine that had the sealer in it. That did not. On the front, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference, but on the end, there is a absolutely massive massive difference same again exactly the same test with the stain and varnish two in one and you can see there it has sort of given some slightly more uneven coloring on the unsealed side compared to the sealed side 
And the big difference is being ply, obviously. Look at that. You can see where the sealer has managed to keep that nice and even. Now, having said that, if you're trying to get a dark coat, obviously, unsealed, makes it a lot darker. This was left on for the same amount of time. Back to the original test with the metho base stain. We'll start with the PVA. And you can see the darkness of the raw wood versus the slightly more even and slightly lighter section that was sealed. The PVA, it's not coming up there terribly well. It's somewhere in between in terms of the darkness that the stain penetrated. However, there is still a little bit of blotchiness here and there. On the end grain, this was the sealed side, this was the unsealed side, and perhaps the biggest tell is on the back. So I didn't put any stain here, but on the raw, there we go, turn around, you can see how those straws have just wicked it all up compared to the sealed side where it is not penetrated and the feel is actually a bit different too. So it looks like particularly on end grain, that sanding sealer is doing a really, really good job. On my pine, this gave me a bit of a weird result. I do apologize, probably my fault. Um, there's something being on the wood here, obviously, because there's two very different results in, unfortunately, where the sealer was. Again, you can see with the PVA, it has worked to some degree. It's not a complete write-off if you were desperate, um, but I just think it does add some tackiness and it's not quite as even. It has evened out some of it compared to the raw wood. And this here is, we'll have to call this inconclusive because I'm not sure what was going on between the two different sections. On the end grain, this was open, like completely and utterly open. But again, slightly nicer on the sealed than on the raw. Now this was my project wood, the acacia, and we can see some big difference here. Now note, there was a darker bit of wood underneath. There's two jointed boards there and there. And honestly, if I had not sealed it and I had put the stain on, I would be fairly happy with that. That's not too bad. Interestingly here, the PVA stuffed it. It's uneven, it's yucky, it's just a bit blotchy. I may not have sanded that back hard enough, but there's just that little bit of extra shine, that little bit of extra clarity with the sanding sealer. And same again here, you can see how absolutely pitch black that the end grain unsealed has done compared to the sealed where we've got some nicer wood tones. And finally, we are looking at the Tassie Oak slash Vic Ash. And again, I've got some of that blotchiness, stickiness from the PVA. So in real work, I don't think I would ever bother doing that. If I'm gonna bother staining something, I wanna do it properly. So saving the money with the PVA at this stage, I'm gonna say is a write-off. Here is the raw wood and we can see a nice difference. Now this is a really, really dense grain. So I wasn't expecting it to have too much of an effect. And honestly, in the coloring, there isn't too much of an effect. But you've got these tiny little checkouts or tear outs here in the uh, grain. And even though that was sanded back to 320, after stain, they are incredibly visible. After the sealer, they are 95% gone. So that is again, a nice win. And if we look on the end grain, we can see that same straw wicking through here, which was not through there. And a bit more evenness, thanks to the sanding sealer. So at the end of the day, this is the product that we were looking at, the Feast Watson sanding sealer. And the stain and varnish is what I put over the top and the proof tin, which I don't have the tin here, was the other one. This is the project, which is still currently all sealed up. And on the back, that's one coat of the stain and varnish after having applied sandy seal, which is a little bit dusty, needs another coat or two, but it is looking really, really nice. If you consider that's what the wood looked like, very, very uneven coloring before we started. Am I gonna keep using this in the future? Probably, I'll probably buy it in a bigger tin too, which will mean that it gets better value. I'm also going to investigate some other brands because there are obviously lots of different people who use this. This was just from the big box store and I am very, very happy that I used it on the client's project because it is going to give it a much, much nicer look than if I had just left the wood raw. And as far as the PVA experiment goes, on a showpiece, you wouldn't bother. If you have found today's video useful, I would encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you would like to see more of this type of content, then subscribe to the channel as I get out every week or two something woodworking related. I'll catch you then. Cheers.